I'm now going to continue and finish off the building of this Perperego John Deere tractor trailer. Uh, I've already shown you in the previous videos up to part 36 where you screw on the exhaust. And now step 37 is to attach the trailer. So you've got that hole there with a little slot. Got the red plug. So feel it with your fingers at the bottom for where the um, where that should attach. There you go. Just turn that and you'll feel it click in place. So the trailer's now attached. Uh, just to show you, this is how you charge up the battery. This is the charge they give you. It's provided it is branded per Perego. Got a little indicator light there. Green says it's fully charged, orange means it's charging. And the first time you charge this, it's supposed to take up to 14 hours, so just leave it on overnight. Give it a 14 hour charge, and then you should get about two hours worth of um, use out of the tractor. Depending on conditions, you know, if you're constantly wheel spinning uphill a bit, you probably use it out a bit more, but you should get at least a couple of hours of use out of it. So that's that, right, so that's 37, step 30. Eight. Um, what's that supposed to show? Oh, I see. Once you've once you've got the hook on there, I think you're supposed to then. Yeah, there you go. Then you're supposed to pull it around so it's flat. There you go. Okay, so it's now. There we go. Completely locked on there, right? So that's. 38, step 39 is what? I'll oh, lock down the um, the bonnet. Uh, well, actually, that's wrong. You can't lock down the bonnet. Or maybe that means you need to open the bonnet while it's already open. Okay, 39. So step 40 is connect the battery. So you've got the Two sections here, this is going to be really difficult with uh, trying to film it. I've got one hand completely used, so let's see if I can do this. This is not going to be easy, hold on. Okay, so let's just have a look at what you've got. Like that, like that. Oh, this is what I mean. I can't, I can't film this and do this. This is a blooming nightmare. Uh, I need my assistant back, and he's gone. He's gone on strike. Can't do this. Uh, is that my assistant? Ah, yeah. Yeah. I'm filming. Can you just do the plug the battery in? <laughs> Trying to do it with one hand. Sorry, okay. okay, yeah, my system is back. Perfect timing. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, so at step 40, you've connected the battery. Next step is close the bonnet. And that's nice use stretching out there. Line that up. Yeah, and you have to kind of pull the green out so that it goes on the outside of this lip. Point in that direction and then you have to twist it or something, or maybe just your finger. Okay. You get it? Right, bonnet's on, and then they've just got a diagram to explain about the gears. Uh, so you've got two speeds, and it's numbered one and two, and you've also got reverse, all, all opposed by that yellow handle there. Uh, step 43. They're showing you can use a screwdriver if you want. Ah, you can use a screw in there to lock it in place so that gear two can't be used. They haven't provided a screw for that. We've got none left. So at the moment, you can simply slip that out and you can change gear. Uh, if you wanted to lock that so kids couldn't go on the faster speed, you'd have to provide your own screw because it doesn't seem they've provided a spare one. Uh, 44 is just to show you that black there, that's obviously the accelerator pedal. 
Step 45, they're explaining how to turn the radio on, that's the radio button. We haven't put AA batteries in that, so you'd have to unscrew that to put batteries in. Step 46, they're showing you how to connect the battery again. Um, step 47, there seems to be something inside the bonnet to screw down near the battery. Hmm. It might be the battery, but I think it's already screwed down. What are they showing in this diagram? Um, if it's this, this is already screwed in place. Yeah, the battery is screwed down there. Yep. And there's a uh, screw there. So check the battery is screwed down in place. Yes, it is. Uh, 51, you've got a handle on the battery to pull it out when you want to. Yeah, so in order to take the battery off, you'd obviously have to unscrew that and that. And then you've got a handle to take the battery off. Uh, where are we? So that's 48, 49. What's that supposed to be? Charger. Ah, oh, that's the charger which I've already shown you. That's that. So yeah, you can take the battery off to charge it. Or is it a charger? No, it's this, It's whatever this block is. Oh, there. They're showing you that black part there. Not sure what that is. Yeah. Do you know what that is? No, I don't. Nothing in it. No. So, not sure what they're trying to explain there. Per Perego, poor job on the instructions. Right. Next 51, again, someone holding the handle, I guess, to pull the entire unit out. Again, they're showing you plug it in, secure the bonnet. Uh, so, yeah, they're just demonstrating how to take the entire battery out to charge it. 55, so that's it. That's the entire thing. And then we've just noticed we've still got some covers to put on the wheels, which they again, haven't bothered to explain in the steps. Because we had these four left over. So it appears as though the bigger ones go on the front wheels. Three little notches there. And the small ones will go on the back. And that's something they've got to explain. Other than that, that is it fully assembled. That's just our tools that we used. Um, they've got a European plug spare for you. Uh, and you've got all the decals to put on. So obviously look at the box that the entire John Deere Purple Lego tractor came in in order to work out where the decals go, if you want to put them on or not. Um, that's the tool you used before. That's just showing you some other products in the range. Okay, and that's it, that's it, that's fully assembled now. There you go, wheel caps on. Okay, and that's what it looks like with the wheel caps. And there we go. It's looking a bit wet because it rained when we had it outside, that's it. But there you go, that's what it looks like fully assembled. Looks awesome. <laughs> and obviously, possibly you could have a toddler sitting on the back while one pulls, but I don't know whether that'll be safe enough to do that. Um, other than that, I think it's just really for a child to cart around some toys behind them or something. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Uh, I'll make another video possibly of them actually using it. Yeah, that's what it looks like without having it. Hand for scale. So now we've got these little armrests you can put down after after sat on it. And there you go. Let's just show you what it looks like. Okay. There, there we go. 55 steps to assemble that, plus a few they forgot to include. Right, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.